this is Johannes. And this is Cinema. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And welcome back to Keep or Cull, where we play our whole collection of 600 plus games and decide whether to keep or cull them. That is correct, and every game that we decide to cull, we are giving away to you, the viewers. So if there's any game in this episode you are interested in, let us know in the forum that is in the description. Yes. As always, let's go through the winners from last time. This is now, I think, three weeks ago, because last week there was not an episode, and then there was two weeks without any games given away. So this week's winners are Barak from a Patreon. It's Gabur from Patreon. Helai, not from Patreon, and James, not from Patreon. So nice. Hey, congratulations and celebrations. Uh, just information if you are a Patreon supporter, you will be able to pick a game to win throughout the year. And as we said, it's a bad way of getting a free game. So if you want to be a supporter, do it because you enjoy what we do. Yes. Some quick stats before we go into the games. We played a merely three hours of game this week. Oh, that is low. Yeah, because life is getting in the way and things are going on. And yes, we will talk about more about that probably at the end of the video. Yes. Love the week before that was eight hours and then 13 hours. So it's going downhill into some oh, no. dark pit. We played seven games. Last time was five and then 12. So uh, uh, hmm, yeah, kind of yeah. like in the middle. And the big question is, of course, how much did Sunua win? I have no idea. I think we're kind of even. Even, Steven, that's that correct. My... Oh, it is. Three, three wins. Three, three. Each and yes. uh, some co op, I think. There's a co op game somewhere, I think. Oh, I think. Yeah, there actually is. No, is it? I don't know. I don't know, but don't know. there was one game. Two. Nobody won. That is, that, is, that is the gist of it. So, without further ado, let's talk about games. So who's starting today? You are starting. I'm starting today. <clears throat> First game of today is. Embarcadero, okay. is if that is the right way to say it. That is correct. Just before we do it, like this is a completely new game. You might be wondering why that's a completely new game. And yes, it is. It's a game from Kickstarter. But we don't have time to do like full reviews of all the games we get. So some new games, we just have to do this way to talk about them and, and then get them out of the way. Yes. So you're ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. I like this quite a lot, actually. What about you? <laughs> I, think, calling, so. no, I, I think it was fine like it's 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 I I played it once and I was like yeah I would want to play it again but not super important to me but I I'm fine with with keeping it so we can play it at least a couple more times maybe before we get rid of it because it was not a masterpiece of anything it has some nice multi-use cards it has some nice spatial puzzle thing but it was it was a game. Yeah, I think this game uh, did some unique things that I haven't seen before. So okay. I thought that was cool. Yep. Unique things aren't like always a hit. But in this case, I really felt like uh, your hand management mm -hmm. uh, with saving for future turns, but also using the cards for different stuff was really good. Mm -hmm. Also, the special puzzle, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. you're kind of building in 3D and also on top of each other. Yeah. And so, and, and some majority is in play here as well. So I think actually this is a game that I, I want to play again. Yep. So yeah. That is fine with me, absolutely. Now. Keep pile over here. Yes, this keep time. pile over there. Then we played Freedom and Freezes, Fast Forward Game Fair. You ready? Yeah, I am. One, two, three, boom. What? <laughs> what is going on? Like, no, you're killing this. I, I, that's all right. I'm just going to like, my, my quick question is, uh, my quick sentence for this is, I played it 25 times. I played through it two times. I have gotten my money out of it. So yeah. you go. I haven't played a whole game of this. Huh? And I really would like to because this is my favorite of the Fast Forward games okay. by Friedman Frise. I don't think that I will like feel that my life is incomplete without playing it though. Nope. So we, we can call it. But this is That's the one. If I would want to keep one, this would be the one. So spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. <laughs> But it's up to you. You decide. Like it's, it's okay it's, to call it. It's a it. super small game, so we can keep it. It's up to you. And we're not going to play it, though. That is correct. Yeah, so call it. Okay. Yes. Next up, super, super exciting. Fortress. Oh, let's see what we're going to choose. One, One two, two, three. three. Boom. Boom, yeah. So yeah, same, same reasons. Same reasons, yes. Good game. I haven't yes. played this either. Have you played this, true? Two times. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good. So you're keeping it. No, no. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot which, which uh, pile was which. Next up is Coco Loco, or it's better known, I think, uh, on BGG for coconuts. It's a game where you throw coconuts at cups. Yes. You ready? Yeah, I am. One, two, three, boom! Why do we have this game and why do you want to keep it? Because it's fun. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, okay, but I, I think, like, do you want to keep this? It's fun. You, you, you get to throw coconuts in cups. So, 
Like, if... <laughs> I'm just like, oh, what are we going to play for game night? And we have Feudum, we have Coco Loco. <laughs> like, what? No, 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 but it's, it's one of those... You're very diverse, No, no, gamer. no, but it's one of those games together with a couple of other kids' games that we haven't played, like, like Rhino Hero that we have played. Uh, that just is just fun. And with the right crowd and the right setting, it is a I, really fun game. I'm not agreeing. Okay, we can call it then. It's, not, you, you it's not important you're, for me. You're the keeper. It's not important for me. <laughs> okay. I cannot sleep now without coconuts in my life. Next up we have Project L. L, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. I like the components uh -huh. here more than I like the game. I, yes. I think that the first time I played a game I thought it was really nice. It's a, mm -hmm. You're building Tetrimino like a bongo style trying to... We did a review on this, yeah, so you can did. go and see the review yes. as well. And I, I think still that is a good game, uh -huh. but... When we played it now for Keeper Girl, I'm just like, oh, but there's other games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the thing that like speaks to me most about this game mm -hmm. is the really beautiful components. And yeah. they're like stellar. I love them. I want to eat them. But I... Board games are not food. Yes, board games are not food, but I don't need to keep it. No, the thing, like, uh, before we played this, I was like, yeah, this, let's just play it and, and call it. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm ready to call it. And I played it and I enjoyed it more more than I thought I would. Mm -hmm. It's just a very light, but very pleasant mm. uh, puzzle game, like being efficient and doing the best you can. But it's fine. We can it's we can like call it. It's kind of like an engine builder. It is absolutely an engine builder. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So I think it's a good game, it's, but I I don't want to keep it. I don't need to keep it. We have like we have better games like this, uh, like Tetrimino, like Baron Park, and all the other ones. So yes. I think it's fine. It's just such a beautiful game, and I like if you like Tetrimino puzzles, I think you should check it out. It's a yes, very good game. It's a very good game. So no, it's not that. It's you, my. Yeah, it's you. It's the <laughs> next to last game already. We have Glasgow. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom. Yeah, we did a review of it. We enjoyed it then. We kept it then because we wanted to play it again. No, I played it again. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we don't usually play a lot of two-player only games. Mm -hmm. And when I play uh, two-player <laughs> games, I, I think I want some more meat on the bone or something that I have like a nostalgic connection mm -hmm. to. I, I don't know, but this doesn't click with me like oh, I want to go again, nope. that feeling that I get with some games, but this is a great, it's it's a fine two-player game. It is absolutely a fun game, and I, I, it's very fun, like, the reason I laughed, like, is, this is the same sentence I say every time we do a two-player game on Keeper Girl now. We don't usually play two-player only well, games. We have them and in our collection. That's actually kind of weird that we don't, because we play a lot of, when we play two players, it's weird that we end up playing multiplayer games, probably mm. because we need to review them, so yeah. it's not that weird. But, and, that's true. More favorite games are multiplayer games, but yeah. um, Glasgow is a, a good game, a fun game where basically has that um, thing with from Patchwork and Glenmore, where it's the last player's turn, always the last player in turn order in, on the track, basically that goes. Mm. That's a nice little thing, and you build a city with a bit of spatial things, and you're trying to get the best buildings for yourself and score mm. the most points. It's yeah. it's straightforward. Again, if you enjoy these kind of two-player games and you haven't played it, I think you should check it out. It's a good one, but not one I need to keep. So, last yes. game for today is... Five Minute Mystery. Okay, yes. you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. Yeah, I like the idea of this game mm -hmm. a lot. Yes. This is like set in a uh, like fantasy, no, um, animal, cute world of animals. But I will say fantasy because the animals are wearing clothes and speaking That's and stuff, true. so it is fantasy. It is, not real life, no. Uh, and the, something has been stolen or something and you need to find the culprit. And mm -hmm. I think like the the mechanisms mm -hmm. in this game are really clever, yeah. um, but it's super hard to actually win the game. Yeah. Have we won? A like, couple of times, yeah, on easy. On easy. Yeah. And I have no idea how you're supposed to like win it on medium. It at all. No. Um, I really like the idea of keeping it, mm -hmm. but I just don't see who we're gonna play it with and when we're gonna play it. No. Nope. And yeah, yeah, I don't know. No, this kind of gave me the same feeling as uh, keep talking and over the explodes. I kind of like yeah. communication thing. So if you want to get that, play that. We can play keep keep talking and over the explodes, which mm. is an amazing oh, it's so good. cooperative video game that yes. you a team based video game which you should play if you haven't played it. It's on uh, Switch. 
Uh, it's on everything. It's on everything. Uh, it's on everything. <laughs> but this is a, a very good game. I, 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 I like it. I, I think I'm a bit unsure. We have only played two players. I don't know really how you can play it with more. You like, can play with up to six players. I know you can players. play with up to six players, but it's not easy to sit and look at one card that's this big with five players. So that's kind of weird. Mm. Uh, but it's it's a fun game, but it's, I agree with you. We're not going to play it. I, li mm. I just like it. I like the yeah. codex of puzzling it around and all of that. So it's a fun game, but I agree with you. We can call it. So that means that if it was up to me, we would have called all the games this week. I'm just saying. No, so that you... it wasn't. You want to keep some of these. Yes, but I wouldn't have. Like that's true. If you chose keep, but I was, I was, I was ready to get him go. Yeah, all right. So uh, sh I was trying to have a moment of me actually calling games, but you know, like if, um, yeah, like, like yeah. keeping one. Calling these. So as you see, these are some smaller games. We didn't get to play a lot this week. Last week was no games played. And next week's not going to be that many either. Mm. Because. Yeah, we're going on a little trip. Three we're days. We're going ten tenting? Is that Camping, a I camping? think. Yeah, I think. I don't know. You can say tent. We're, we're living in a tent. We're living in a tent for three days. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be fun. But that also means less board games. Yes. We're going to try to play some of the more like smaller uh, travel games mm -hmm. um, and see how that goes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, and, and basically... Like the summer might be a bit slower because it's uh, work is picking up and and it, it, it's, it's sunny outside, so you want to oh, go yeah. outside and do other stuff than just sit and play board games. But we will, of course, continue doing Keeper Girl every week, so we ha are going to play something. And the review pile is sticking up, so oh, yeah. we have reviews coming next but week. But summer is like essential to essential to Norwegian because all of the rest of the year is like gray and mm -hmm. it's raining and it's freaking cold mm -hmm. and now summer is here and it's really really wonderful to be outside so i want to be outside yeah and and the summer lasts for like two minutes in yeah August. so, so we, it's, have we have to have spend it really yeah. really good <laughs> so yeah that is the end of another episode of keep or curl if you are still here and you have not subscribed please do so now it's free it finally makes us happy like this if you want to do something that's fun but not free, you can go to patreon.com slash boardgamingramblings and support us there. And that is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Senua. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.